So now that we know about all of the different primates, let's start to talk about where they live, because where you live impacts a lot about you. What we're now starting to talk about is something called behavioral ecology. So this comes from traditional ecology, and this is the study of the evolution of behavior. And we're trying to think about the ecological factors or the factors from your environment and how that can affect you. That might be your morphology, it might be your behavior, um, but it also can be what time of day you're active because the environment around you controls a lot of things about species. With primates, most of them live in tr the tropical areas of the world. So we're talking about this slice right here in between the 23rd and a half degrees um, tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. Um, so you see there's a, a big swath of South America that this is in, a big part of Africa, and the southern parts of Asia. And this is the, primarily where we find all of our monkeys. Um, one rate, uh, habitat that we see a lot of monkeys in is tropical rainforest. So this means it's at a tropical latitude and there's a lot of rainfall. And one of the cool things about these environments is there's not really any seasons. It's just raining. <laughs> um, and one cool thing is that that means there isn't much difference in the plant life around the year. Um, so there are always going to be at least some trees with fruit no matter what time of year. It might be different trees and different types of fruit, but fruit is relatively easily available. And when we're talking about a rainforest, there are several different parts of the rainforest because there's so many plants, there's different structures um, to this really tall rainforest that we have. So at the top, we have our canopy, then we have the mid-level, and, and lastly, the understory on the ground. We're, um, the first difference is the amount of light. Canopy has a lot of light. In a tropical rainforest, the canopy is actually pretty dense. So everything below the canopy has less and less light. The understory is actually pretty dark. Um, and you're gonna see different species living in different places. My favorite, the tarsiers, they actually live on that understory. So they're hopping around uh, kind of at like knee height for us, um, jumping from tree to another tree. Uh, Tarsiers specifically, they like to uh, make their home in strangler figs. Strangler figs are really cool. So they have their seeds and their seeds will end up at the top of a different tree. It will grow down over that other tree and eventually choke or strangle it to death. Um, there are certain cultures that actually worship strangler figs because they're pretty badass. So here you can see Tarsiers kind of clinging on to that strangler fig on the outside. Um, Tarsiers have pretty small hands, so they like to hang on to relatively small trees, so the strangler figs are good for that. Um, but also in this middle picture here, you can see the inside of a strangler fig. Um, first, a strangler fig will be strangling the tree it's around, but eventually, once it kills that original tree, it can actually rot away and leave this hollow space. Tarsiers really like this because now they have multiple exits and entrances from their home tree. Um, even though they are um, carnivores themselves, a lot of things like to eat tarsiers because they are pretty small. So this allows them more ways to escape when someone wants to eat them. We also have tropical seasonal forests. So now we're not in the tropics. We're either, uh, or, sorry, we are in the tropics, but now there's a little bit less rain. Um, so rainfall is a little bit more variable. So we are going to start to see differences. Um, in what's going on with our plant life. Um, some trees might lose their leaves. Um, there's not going to be as much fruit year round, and the canopy is probably a little less extensive. So now we're going to see a little bit more light in all of these rainforests, which you can see in these two pictures here. We also have some primates living in a savanna habitat. So this means that it's a grassland, but there are some trees and shrubs. Um, and there's definitely not a closed canopy. There are fewer trees rather than more trees here. Um, there are savannas around the world, but we only find primates specifically in the African savanna. But you get gorgeous pictures like this. Um, I find the savanna is one of the most photogenic habitats out there. Um, but you can see, while there are some trees, they are relatively uh, far apart. 
There are a few other tropical biomes that we find primates in. Um, uh, there's some of these intermediate habitats, woodlands, thornwoods, or shrublands. It's some that gray area in between a savanna and a forest. So both of these have a few more trees going on. Um, we also have this semi-desert scrub on the bottom. So that's in between a desert and a savanna. So there's, you know, a wide range of different types of habitats. Really depends on how much water is available. Uh, a few other tropical biomes. These are some water-based habitats here. So uh, coastal environments, mangroves, swamps, or riverine. Um, so here we have a capuchin um, finding some fruit or some crabs in a mangrove. Uh, there's also some primates that live in bamboo forests, like this adorable little bamboo lemur. Um, now, there are a few primates that do live outside of the tropics in some temperate biomes. Um, so here we have our Japanese and Barbary macaques. Um, both of them live in places where it can snow. And you can see humans aren't the only ones that like a good snowball fight. Uh, my personal favorite when we're talking about temperate biomes is the Japanese macaques who keep warm by sitting in the hot springs in the island of Hokkaido. Um, I've been told that there's actually a hierarchy to who gets to be in the hot springs, and it's only the, the macaques that are at the top that get to stay in the hot springs for particularly long periods of time. Um, here are some more habitats. Um, so you, here we have, you know, a temperate forest. We also have a, a coastal environment where we have some monkeys fighting here. Um, here are some leaf monkeys that live in temperate biomes. So these are a little bit more familiar to us up in the northeast. Um, so there's, you know, a tree with some flowers here, a beautiful little langer sitting on a rock. Um, and here are some other leaf monkeys in, uh, in winter in the snow. So here we have a snub-nosed monkey from China and then a langer from somewhere in Asia.